What? No! Dude! You got your coat on because you're going to leave. <laughs> I'm, I'm nervous about this. We're watching Hereditary. Now, now, let me say something. <laughs> Go, you say it again. We, me and Tom both went to the cinema to see Midsommar. Yeah, we did. And this was our first experience with this director. So Ari we, Aster, his name is. Yeah, and we never, we never saw Hereditary, even though it came up first. Midsommar, Tom. Describe it in one word. Uh, horrifying. <laughs> I would describe it as... Traumatising. In two words weird <laughs> <laughs> i'm really interested to see this because i think he's more experimental than yeah. um a lot of uh Definitely. horror films horror directors are and i think he cares about narrative as well like uh, telling a story yeah. in an effective a way story. yeah it's not, not just you know so many modern i thought just thought midsummer was refreshing in what is a sea of just generic yeah similar horror films and it, and that aren't it, even horrors and it, it it was when we left that cinema well, I said, I can't remember what you said, but I said that it was a brilliant film, but I'll never watch it again. Yeah, yeah. I said that, but when I, I would, I would. This is, this is why I'm looking forward to this, because a lot of people say that this is better than Midsommar. I actually don't know what it's about. Neither do I. I think I know it's about a family, but... That's, that's, li that's, that's literally it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh so, man, I'm excited. It's going, to be something, it's going to be something different anyway. So. There's a lot of hype, and I'm looking forward to just getting into some modern horror movies. For a change, yeah, like, like the mist was kind of modern. I think modern horror like films, most modern horror films, tend to be more, almost like uh, melancholy, less comedic, more sort of grief ridden Ground, and grounded, grounded more realist, grounded, more realism yeah, perhaps. Definitely. So um, I'm really looking forward to this, but I also think it's going to be a slow burn. Yeah. Cinema rules here, and we are watching Hereditary. Right, Cinema Rules here, and Robocop's a mediocre film. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> the loads of subscribers just... Yeah, gone. Oh, Ellen Taper. Somebody Lee. passed away after a prolonged illness. Is that like a letter almost? A statement on what's happened? Yeah. A bit trying. Well, straight away he's using sound in the same. Yeah, I'm looking vein forward to this. As Midsummer. Yeah. Why is it always doll houses? Literally always. It was in Nightmare Three. Yeah, yeah, Nightmare Three. Do you know if your sister slept in her room last night? Funeral. Yeah. Come on, Peter, get up. Come on. It was freezing last night. That's how you get pneumonia. That's okay. This is unnerving from the angles and the shots of the cuts already. Mm. My mother was a very secretive and private woman. She had private rituals, private friends. Great. Rituals. Private anxieties. Not rituals. It honestly feels like a betrayal just to be standing here talking about her. But when her life was unpolluted, she could be the sweetest, warmest, most loving person in the world. She was also incredibly mm. stubborn. What was that? Maybe explains me. Well, that was your opinion, and you were... Yeah, I don't know. It's sort of got a tick. She's going to be like this kid in the Babadook. Yeah. Like it's a funeral, it should have like emotion. It should be emotional. It should be some form of compassion there. Yeah. But there's like it's the the music just makes it. I don't know, daunting. I don't know, just foreboding. I guess foreboding. Yeah. I guess the grandma wasn't very nice to them. I don't know. Yeah, he asked. She seemed quite distant, didn't she? The daughter seems quite distant. Yeah, and he just asked if he's sad, and he's just like not really. He was like. He was yeah. like Satan. 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 What's that mean? Is that a name? Is that a ritual? Thanks, sweetheart. Son of the devil. I just don't know anything at the moment. I literally have no idea what's going to happen. 
She's going to start seeing her grandma. It's so unnerving. Probably. Oh, sacrifice will pay on next to the rewards. Yeah. How's that supposed to mean? Mum? Oh, she knows something. Oh! Off. Off. Oh, I saw it flapping outside, but I didn't. I thought it landed. It. I thought it landed, and then it. Oh, so so did she have something to do with the bird? Because the toy was taken away. Wow, that got me, that did. Arrogance? She's looking at the dead, dead bird. Eating chocolate like it's nothing. Yeah. See, my mum said something at the start about has it got nuts in it, right, when she was eating the chocolate beforehand. I wonder where that is. Why? Why? That's why she was looking at the scissors. My name's Annie. I am Annie. It's some sort of cult My mom thing. died a week ago. No, they just... No, I know, but the way they say it, it's like, hey, Annie. Trying it. My older brother had schizophrenia, and when he was 16, he hanged himself in my mother's bedroom, and of course, his suicide note went her, accusing her of putting people inside him. So... Whoa. That was my mom's life. It's something weird there than hereditary. Yeah. Uh, the f <laughs> <laughs> You're going to this party with your brother. What party? Some school hangout with other kids. No. That's okay. No, it's not okay. You're going. Why? Because it'll be fun because you get to hang out with other kids. With who? And with your with your brother. With other kids. <laughs> she must be like even like that. She must be doing weird stuff like this. What's that sign there? <laughs> it's the necklace. Yeah. She had on the symbol. Yeah, it was the spot. Has it got something in it? Is she allergic to nuts? Nuts. Yeah, oh god. That was your sister downstairs? Yeah, Charlie. Are you okay? It's hard to breathe. Oh god. What do you mean? I think my throat's getting bigger. <laughs> Gonna be his fault as well. Fuck. He doesn't even want to look. Oh god. I can't believe that. And it was on the same lamppost that we saw the the sign. Oh. No. I feel sick. 
Why isn't the boy already in prison? It's an accident, he didn't do it on purpose, did he? The grief meeting again. Yeah, it's me from last week. My daughter got decapitated. <laughs> I'm so sorry to chase you down. Uh, were you not coming in, or...? I... No, I just, um, I forgot something. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry, I just, I recognize you from a few months ago. Oh, God, <laughs> I feel very silly. I'm Joan. Oh, Annie, Joanne. you came. It's a, it's Joanne, a I think it's a oh, Perfect. Come in. Come in. Yeah, my mother used to embroider once just like that. Did she really? Isn't that funny? Please come in. Sit. No, I don't trust I this. Did, I did that. Did, well, this too coincidental. Wrong. Yeah. She was too dismissive. Yeah. I see someone standing there. Annie! Hi! Oh! She's oh. definitely following her. Yeah. She's definitely got some sort of connection with her grandmother. <laughs> yeah, she's oh, her she mum, sorry, her mum. How but are you? Grandmother. Oh, Annie. I met a spiritual medium. There you go. What you don't want to conjure up your shit. I'm just here shopping. Do you want to come over? Oh! Why do you have to do it in the dark? Why do you have to do it in the dark? Louis, are you okay? Are you in pain? No! Oh. oh my God. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. I know. I know, honey. What if, if you want to try this on your own? Do not do okay? it it's on okay. your own. First, light the candle. No. Then choose an item that belonged to your daughter. Yeah, like that the pigeon head. Your link. Mine was the chocolate. The pigeon head. That's my link. What? She got it's decapitated. Right. It's right. It's it was a full right. shadow in itself. <laughs> oh, f off. I'm done. That was um, so effective. That was so effective. I wasn't even looking or waiting for anything. I wasn't even. I'm done. Hmm. Uh oh. Mom. What are you doing? Why are you scared of me? I never wanted to be your mother. Then why did you have me? It wasn't my fault! I tried to stop it! Jesus. You tried to kill me. <laughs> I you love you! Me. Is this still a dream? Why did you try yeah. to kill yeah. me? No, he's still, he's wet. Why did you try to kill me? <laughs> oh, this is what she was... Yeah. Oh my god. Now, if you're in here, Charlie, I want you to move the glass for us. Even if it's just a tiny bit, even oh, if it's Jesus just the tiniest Christ little movement, okay, Charlie? Wow! Yes! Thank you, Charlie! That was so good! Okay. Hello? Mom? 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 I don't like this. Dad, I don't like this. What's happening? Please stop. Why are you scaring me? Make it stop! No, no, no! Please stop! Don't make it stop! Oh my god, his eyes are crossed out. That's the brother. He's crying, yeah. Don't burn it, it's just gonna make it angry. She's burning along with it. Mmm. You're in it now. There's no going back. Yeah, she's going back to the house to try and stop it. 
Well, no, back to that journey one. Yeah, that journey, journey house. She's gonna be dead. Look how many candles she's she gonna has. be dead. She's gonna be dead. You reckon? The symbol. But her thing said, I love you, Grandma. gonna be dead. I don't know. I expel you! What? It was her that they that, that, that the the kids me. saw. Peter! Get out! Oh, what symbol. is that symbol? I'm telling you, it's a coven of witches or something. Yeah. <laughs> Possesses the most vulnerable host, which was complete, of a male body. They're trying to possess the boy then. Yeah. That's why they're that journey one saying, I expel you. What does that mean? I don't know. <gasps> right. Yeah. Oh, what's going on? Oh, he's clocking. What the f is going on? Going mental. It's, it's, it's descended really quickly, it's, hasn't it's, it? Like, it's it's a massive like <laughs> metaphor for like <laughs> mental illness, <laughs> grief. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to do this with you anymore. <laughs> no, no, it's not helpful to you. <laughs> oh. Oh, you see that? The little yeah. light thing. And then she just went... Whoa. What? In the top corner. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. No. Did you see it? <laughs> did I f***ing see it? <laughs> God, I f***ing did. Run, run, please just run. <gasps> She's up there. Oh my god. Oh my god! I don't want to know what it is. She's chopping her own head off. Who is that? Is that the mum? Oh my good gracious me. That's exactly what I would have done. Is he dead there? Oh, I don't like that image. That's her sister's head. His yeah. sister's head. I saw the symbol, I was looking at the symbol. Or her, yeah, her mum's head. Or the grandmother's head. Oh, 
This music is very rep- reminiscent of Midsummer. You are Paimon, one of the eight kings of hell. We have looked to the northwest and called you in. We've corrected your first female body and give you now this healthy male host. <laughs> Man, this Hereditary. film. Hereditary. This film. 2018, I think it is. Was was nothing what I thought it would be, because I had no expectations, but it also f- seems quite familiar having seen Midsommar. But all in all, it was uh, soul draining. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to rate it an 8.5. Nice. This... This guy, Ari Aster, is, I think, the best new horror, modern horror director that yeah. I've seen in ages. Yeah. Like, people people were pretty mixed when I read reviews about Midsommar, but I thought it was an absolute forceful film. I thought it was mm-hmm. insane. This one, equally so, but for a few different reasons. But I loved it. I thought it was awesome. I thought it was really good. So I'm going to give it an 8.9. Brilliant. Out of ten. Cool. The horrifying things that happen within this film is so psychological as well. You know, the the son when he accidentally decapitates. Jesus. Jesus. But not and even... then when he's in the classroom and he's dealing with it, and those shots that linger on one scene for ages, almost uncomfortably yeah. not, and then they switch to dark. Yeah. Instant, it's an instant transition yeah. or switch, but it's almost the same position or a different area or something like that. And But like not even the moment of the decapitation scene, like that was a uh, shocking moment, but it was the long lingering mm. shot, like you said, on him in the front seat, not even wanting to look into the mirror to look behind of what he just did. Mm. And it, st- it, it stuck on that for ages. This just this just does unsettling so well. Even when you see the little tiny engravings, that just gives you a sense of yeah. What do they mean? I can't. I have to go back. To um, I, I'm going. I'm going to change it to a nine out of ten. Oh yeah. Yeah, because I just think it's masterfully done. I, I absolutely, I absolutely love it. I think it's great. Yeah. And it's not just. I mean, I don't. I don't love it necessarily because of the tone and the content of the film. Yeah. But the way that it. Affects it unnerves you. me and affects me, I think. Yeah. You know, it's done its job, hasn't yeah. it? Fantastically, yeah. so. I, for me, uh, giving a film a nine, I, I'll, have, I'll have to watch the film more than once. I think there's a, a couple of, them of exceptions, like City of God, which is just masterfully crafted in terms mm. of the editing and, and the characters and the, and the story. But uh, I think with Hereditary, I think but I'll have I to go, watch it again. I go again. back and I think very, from the very start, the motif of the dollhouse and the shots, uh, opening shots of the house, where it's this weird sort of detached yeah. shot and angle. It's almost as if the control over them is there from the start, right? With that doll's house opening shot. The, the coven. That's really effective. The coven and the demon are playing with them. Yeah, it is. Are yeah, playing yeah. with them in, in, a, yeah. in a very doll-like um, sense. And originally, I, I was debating, that, oh, is, is she possessed or is she not? You know, in a way, you. I, I'm always the kind of person that wants there to be happy endings. <laughs> there very rarely is in horror films, certainly yeah. modern horror films, there hardly ever is. No. It's, the ending's quite weird. The ending is what reminded me of Midsommar, not oh, yeah, everything else. Yeah. It was just the ending. Oh, really? I feel like he took that and sort of ran with it in Midsommar, but that was almost uncanny, really, and unnerving even more, because he with, withheld the narrative for a massive chunk of the film, mm. and then... He doesn't dump it all with exposition, but it is revealed at the very end. And it almost is, left yeah. on that for yeah. an uncomfortable amount of time again. Yeah. Um, I didn't know how I felt about that, but, you know. The, the ex- exposition wasn't really telling us, like, what no, so happened. It is an, ex- it is an exposition. But it is an exposition revealed, of the character of the, de- yeah. the demon, because yeah. no one knew what he was yeah. so or she, who he was. So, so she he, basically end, said who he was. She calls him Charlie at the end. So yeah. at the end, he is possessed by his sister's soul 
but that was that was this the demon soul. The demon so anyway, it was like yeah. in, soul inception. Yeah, <laughs> soul inception. Soul inception. She was great. She was a great actress as well. At the yeah. Start. yeah, She was so unsettling. Mm. So good. There's so much foreshadowing. I'm just I'm just realizing it now. So well, you said it. You I didn't even click about. Well, well, we saw the sign on the post. Yeah, but that was the exact same post that. Captain yeah, yeah. Right? But there's so there's so much. Um, Foreshadowing. So there's that instance. There's the fact that she picked up a um, a pigeon's head, cut it off, decapitated it, and she got decapitated. As even when she looked into the field and saw that old woman watching the field burn, mm. that woman was in a white dress. Now at the end, the mum was in a white dress watching her husband burn. Yeah, yeah. There's so much imagery there yeah, that 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 comes full circle. Look, even there, like yeah, it's so. You want to. This is kind of funny, you don't want to watch it again because of the horrifying nature of it, but it deserves rewatches because of the craft. Like, yeah. Um, the You mentioned the soundtrack and how that reminded you of Midsommar as well. 100%. He uses all of these concepts, all of these things, uh, the performances, um, the editing, and the music, all to create that same tone and yeah. that same feel, and it works so well. It's, it's the, jarring, it's unnatural. It's a low theatrical kind of orchestra yeah, that yeah. makes it, like, heavy. I know for a fact that I'll be taking inspiration from Ari Aster's films, 100% like this and Midsommar, just the way he's crafted scenes and tone uh, in a scene mm. is definitely something I'll be looking at in and the future. They both do deal with with grief, like you said. I just mm. want to come back to that. Yeah. Not necessarily being metaphorical, but almost being a sub-narrative in a way. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So grief and loss. This is the kind of... I know we've been talking about this for ages, but this is the kind of director that I kind of admire because they take something, they take a genre that's been done to death and yeah. they... Reinvent it. Try. They just try yeah. and do something different. They yeah. tell a different narrative in a different way and they're adventurous with it and they're experimental with it. Mm -hmm. Whereas so many other directors, this genre... Oh, what was that so film tropes. we watched? Or The Dark Web. Oh my God, that was a state like of the film. Yeah. yeah. Horror films like that, you know, there's no experimentation, but everything here has sort of come together, I think, in an yeah. amalgamation of horror. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, uh, that's a good line to end the uh, the review on. Let us know what you think of Hereditary, and have, if you've seen Midsummer, which one do you think is better? Uh, what's your interpretation of this film, and what's your interpretation of Midsummer? I doubt we'll be what reacting to Midsummer in the in the you know. Close future we watched it because recently, we've seen yeah. it before uh, recently. So let us well, know that, what you think about Midsummer. If you made it this far, guys, I think that's I think that's worth subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like this content and want to see more. Hit the notification bell to be uh, notified of uh, our new content. And uh, you know, give this video a like. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you're not already, go and check out our Patreon page. We're currently running. Uh, the Haunting of Hill House, uh, that we are, which is a Patreon exclusive, uh, incredible, um, just incredible TV show, horror TV show, which is got similar. It's, it's, it's similar, similar but different. Hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. So yeah, let us know what you think, and we'll see you in next, next video.